The Louisville Education and Employment Partnership, or LEAP, is a program that gives students extra support so they can stay on the right path to graduate. On a recent visit to the Jefferson Memorial Forest, the students used team building exercises to form bonds. One of the things we say out here is the best leaders are also the best followers. What do you all think that means? You have to follow before you can lead. You have to learn from somebody. You don't just automatically just know exactly what to do. Somebody has to teach you something, so that's following by okay. learning. I like that. Fantastic. Yeah, what else? We're at Jefferson Memorial Forest. We're doing the team building uh, leadership thing, and it's, uh, we're learning how to uh, work as a team and uh, doing leadership more, to learn how to take charge when we're supposed to and do the right thing when nobody's watching. Isn't kind of half of learning making mistakes, when you say? I believe that LEAP is important because the student um, may not know who to go to if they're having some issues at school, um, if they're having issues at home, or in this day and age, if there's something going on in social media that they need help with. <laughs> right here? Yeah, one foot at a time. Okay, you going up a hill. All right, Chris. Uh -uh, get I think this really teaches the kids soft skills, you know, communication, working together. Um, I've seen a lot of leaders emerge today. Okay. Turn left. Right now? Yep. Uh -uh, right, there. right here? Right there. Turn left. Right here. Yep, go down. Because it teaches you not to, not to compare yourself to others. Like everybody, like doing this team building stuff, you all start off not knowing anything because we don't know none of the games are going to throw at us. So it's, you can't compare yourself to somebody else because you know nothing of it either. But when, once you know that, you know, if you catch on before somebody else, you know that you can help somebody. It's more so like, let me help you. Let me give you a helping hand because I didn't know it either. Now that I got it, I want you to get it too. It just teaches you to, to help, like to want to help, not just to help because you're told, because you want to. Why do you have to trust each other? It helps me because it's more of a hands-on thing and I'm a hands-on learner. I love being able to take a strategy and make it into something where another kid maybe not understand the strategy and help him to understand how it goes. One, two, three, on three. One, two, three. You know, no matter what the what the issue is that's going on, I, 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 it's a challenge to me. I want to make sure that we, we figure out what we need to do to get them to, to where they are successful when we're graduating and, and going on and, and having, a, having the future that they want. There's you know, so many of them that don't, don't see themselves as having a future, and, that, and that's probably the most important to me. And I love when they come back and they tell me about you know, what's going on in college or I've graduated from college and this is what I'm doing now. I pick do not disturb because I'm a person who's kind of silent and I'm kind of put off from other people, but when you get to know me, I'm a really good person. And it's teaching us how to work together, be a team and work hard and having another person there to help us and like stand by and help another person if they don't understand and talk to them about it. We do team building to like get to know each other and like we use the games we use in, um, we use the games to help us in life situations, like um, communication skills. And I picked this because it reminds me of Muhammad Ali. Fought like a butterfly, sting like a bee, and he kept fighting. He didn't give up. So it feels good to have someone there, you know, to say, "Hey, are you okay? Just checking on you." So I think I want to do that too. I'm trying to do that because you know I'm really an introvert. So it's like, okay, I'm trying to learn how to cope with others and be more outgoing. I've seen a lot of improvement in myself. I don't like, like I don't put I before everything. Like I say we a lot and like I see myself helping more people than I usually would. I've just learned to um, understand other people's point of views because not everything is about me. Coming into high school, I thought it was just all about me and everybody was against me. And now I know that it's not all about me. It's about working with other people and understanding other people's point of views. And that with the LEAP program, I've learned that like, it's just a different way of, it's a different way of looking at life pretty much. I mean, if you need help, all you got to do is ask for it. I probably wouldn't be standing here. I mean, I was the wild child of the group. I mean, I did my own thing, and then now that I'm in LEAP and I see that it's a big old community of helping people, I love it, and I just, that's what I like to do. I like helping people no matter where it's at. Two, three. Oh, snap. I don't know. There you go. Hold this hand. I want them to feel that, you know, no matter what that struggle is or what that, barrier is when they get back to, to school, um, they, they can overcome it and they can, um, you know, they just, they just keep trying and, and you have to try more than once and, and that's okay.